Hey everyone, Man Rules here. Today's video tutorial is on how to use the Live CD utility Gparted. Gparted is an excellent utility for resizing, changing, modifying partitions, partitions on your hard drive. And uh, it's really great, it's useful because it's got that live utility that you can put on a CD so that in the event like your operating system just like crashes or you can't get in or something like that and you need to fix stuff, it's a great utility to use. So we're going to be getting the CD image for Gparted and InfraRecorder, which is an excellent CD burning utility. So let's open up your web browser, and first thing we need to do is go to uh, gparted.sourceforge.net, the link will be in the description, and go to Downloads. Uh, right down here, Browse Stable Releases of Gparted Live, that's what you want. Go ahead and click here. You'll be brought to uh, this page right here where you can select the release that you want. This is the latest version. Go ahead and click the CD image, download, and the download will begin. And after you have downloaded that, or while it's downloading, go on over to inforecorder.org, the link will be in the description, and click downloads. And you have two options, the 32-bit or the 64-bit installer for Windows, do 32-bit and you can download that as well. So after you have those two programs, you're going to have uh, the CD image wherever you saved it and the installer for Invert Order. So go ahead and open up the installer and go through it as you like. And after that's done, you have these two things right here. So let's go ahead and open up Invert Order. And right here, you'll see the full button. Go ahead and click that and browse for the Gparted CD image. That you have the begin burning it to a CD. Go ahead and leave the stuff the same and click OK. I've already done it so it's not necessary. And after you're done with that uh, and it's done burning all that, go ahead and restart your computer with the CD inserted. I will see you at that point. Alright, and once you have just uh, booted up your computer, you should boot to the CD. If not, you need to modify your BIOS settings to be able to boot to a CD. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just Google it. It's pretty easy. So, um, right here, you just need to select the default settings for Gparted Live, press enter, and you will begin to boot. It will go down the list of all the things that it needs to check. It's a, it's running off of a Linux kernel, and it's pretty basic just to keep it small, so there's nothing pretty in the startup here, so just let that... You'll get to the screen right here that's blue. Go ahead and press enter on don't touch key map. Now you have an option for language. Go ahead and press 33 for US English. Press enter. And now you have the option for your X server. It has a couple of things. Just press zero and press enter. And the desktop environment for Gparted will begin to start up. And here is the utility right here. So if you uh, see right here, I have a few megabytes of unallocated space, about a gig. So um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new partition. And as you can see, when you're creating a new partition, you can drag these things around, this uh, slider around to choose how big you want it to be, or you can enter in exact sizes in megabytes. You can choose um, what type of partition you want, primary, logical, or extended and what to format it to. I'm going to do ext4 which is a brand new um, journaling file system for Linux just supported in this version, it wasn't before. So I'm going to call this one Linux. That's not how you spell Linux. And click add and as you can see it pops up right here. Now I have this other bit of unallocated space. I'm going to create a new partition here and I'm going to leave it for the rest of the space, and I'm going to put this at NTFS, which would be for a Windows um, drive. So I'm going to call it Windows, click Add, and now I have two partitions on the space of hard drive right here that I can modify if I wanted to, or I could install an operating system on. So now say you have already existing partitions, and you want to resize them or move them around. Say I want to take some space from my Windows partition and add it to my Linux partition. So click on your Windows partition and click resize slash move. 
and you can shrink it with a slider or you can enter exact amounts and click resize, uh, resize. And now you want to add it to this partition. Well, unfortunately, what we did is when we hit resize or move, we went from this side, not from this side. It, it would be smart if you want to add it like this to do from this side, but I didn't. So what I'm going to want to do is to be, make it so that I can add this unallocated space to this partition. I need to click this, and click resize or move, and drag it over. So now the unallocated space is over here. Click that, now it's right here, and you can click resize slash move on this one, and drag it over. So now we've got fairly equal to um, two different partitions. Um, if you want to work with multiple disks, just right up here you can click the um, arrow and you can browse your hard disks. If you want to completely delete a partition, click on it and click delete, and it'll turn it into an allocated space, and you can reformat it if you want to into something new. If you want, I'm pretty sure this is the Mac one JFS. I have no idea though, to be honest, with Mac, but that's just some sort of format. So that's pretty much all the options you have when it comes to um, Gparted. You can also go to Format too and directly format it to something else if you want to. It has excellent support for many different um, formats for file systems and such like that for installing different operating systems. So it's a pretty useful tool. So thank you for watching this Case of Man Rules tutorial on how to use Gparted, and I will see you guys next time.